Scooby-Doo, and the truth behind mummies. Scooby-Doo and the gang were visiting the museum. They were excited to see the new exhibits. But Shaggy and Scooby were nowhere to be found. This museum is so big, said Velma. I hope they didn't get lost. The quiet was broken when Shaggy and Scooby burst into the room. Rummy! barked Scooby. He thinks he's our mummy, yelped Shaggy, in the in ancient Egypt room. Hmm. Zoinks! Are those creepy mummies alive or dead? Oh, they're dead. But legendary mummies like those are mummies come back from the dead. That's true. Even when they're not even when they're not alive, they shovel, moan, and chase people. Ruh -ruh! <laughs> Sorry. Like, how do people become zone mummies? In ancient in ancient Egypt, the the body from a from a dead king or queen was washed, prepared, and wrapped in, in straps of cloth cloth. But a mummy of legendary became becomes a leg living monster only if someone curses it or if it can't stand to be without the person it loves. What's under a mummy's wrapping? A human body, said Fred. Ancient, ancient, ancient Egyptians removed the brain and other natural origins. They left the heart in place. Then the body was dried with a salt called natrin and wrapped in, wrapped in length. Why? asked Shaggy. To, re to repair the afterlife said Velma. Prepare for the afterlife, said Velma. The brain was removed too, added Daphne. But in stories or movies, mummies are smart, even without brains. Then the body was placed in a coffin. Sometimes a coffin can be placed in a, in a stone coffin called sarcophagus, said Velma. Then, the sarcophagus was put into a tomb. So, why do legendary mummies want to chase us? M mummies from movies and stories want to rest in peace. They like their cozy, quiet tombs. But, treasure hunters want to want... But treasure hunters and scientists disturb their sleep. This irritates mummies. Why be grouchy? Where do real mummies come from? Mummies come from countries such as Egypt, Meiji, Peru, and China. Ice mummies have been found in the mountains and in Italy and Peru. Mummies in movies naturally stepped out of the ancient Egyptian pyramids or any very dry place, even a high mountain cave. How do we, how do we if, how do we know if a mummy is chasing us? Said Velma, said Sha asked Shaggy nervously. In, mov in movies, mummies often moan, said Fred, and ruffle their feet. Rolling and ruffling, Sco Scooby said. And a mummy is wrapped in cloth, said Velma. That's dead. That's a dead yeah, giveaway. People, okay? Shh. I was a filming. Like, do real? Do legendary mummies have super, have special powers? 
Yes, said Fred. In movies and stories, mummies are often mummies are very strong and they carry a curse that affects those who disturb them. Sometimes they have special powers too. Sometimes they can move objects with just by thinking. That's called Thinkus, said Velma. And some insects and control insects, wind, or sand with their minds. And Daphne, Bugs! yelled Shaggy. Yuck! barked Scooby. Ew! How, how are mummies different than zombies? In some ways, mummies and zombies are the same in stories and movies. Both rise from the dead, rise from the grave, and are undead creatures. But mummies' flesh is dry, not rotten like a zombies. And mummies won't, and zombies want to eat people's brains. Mummies aren't interested in doing that. So how can we all protect ourselves? Just run in the opposite direction. Fast. Don't worry, said Daphne. Legendary mummies are strong, but they move slowly. Other ways to protect yourself is with fire, said Fred. If you set one on fire, it'll be destroyed. Okay, said Scooby. Time for a quiz. What is undead, very strong, and is wrapped in cloth. Ronnie! Some dogs never learn.